What's going on guys and for the win here we are back with our franchise mode as the Seattle Seaman and uh, well we are having a pretty good year I mean LA obviously really good we shouldn't drop out of the playoffs we're not like top top holy crap the Met is horrible look how terrible the Met is Literally the fourth place team of every other division is ahead of their first place team. <laughs> anyway. But uh, yeah, and with the way things are going here, I don't really think we need to make a trade to the main roster. Yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, it's tough to say. Like, on the one hand... I mean, where would we put a rental? Like, it feels like, yeah, we might need one. We haven't been a great this season, but at the same time, like, where would we put it? I think, yeah. We're going to lose some chemistry by making this uh, move with Strite here. But it might be the better move. Or at least I'll test it out for the remainder of the season to see how it kind of works. He's a plus 7 right now. Wong's a plus 13. That's who we're going to really look at. Wong and strikes plus minus so plus seven plus thirteen. Um, see if that if, if not, I go switch it back, especially for the playoffs, including the playoffs. We could also go to Rensfeld instead of Nylander, but I think I'll want to give Nylander the shot uh, in the beginning. I might have to turn rotations off because I might put Rensfeld in there. I'm not too sure what it'll do actually, but uh, yeah, I'll probably turn rotations off just to be safe. But yeah, as I'm saying, I don't really think we can make a trade here. I think our team is kind of doing what it needs to do. I think this is Lowry's, about his last year here. Foxa as well. So our uh, our bottom six is going to look probably a bit different next year, especially center-wise. And, well, we don't really have any great centers. Like, Wellwood is going to be a pretty good, you know, bottom six, but... His defensive awareness is only 76, so he's not really that good. Nichols, not really a, um, a center. I mean, Chartier, he could kind of... I mean, we could try him out back there. I don't think he'd be that great. Uh, yeah, we're a little, a little short on the forward end of things. But... Yeah. So, some of these guys we could try out next year. This guy has 73 face-offs, like, but he doesn't have the greatest defensive stats. Ronick's not really a center. Steen is the only one who might be able to be a center, but that's only 70 face-offs. I really think we need to, like, sign a center or something. I don't really think we have anything internally. Most of our internal guys coming up are, are looking like wingers. Yeah, Pearson might be able to hang around another year just because it is his stat growth but even that I might want to turn it over to some younger guys like we're going to have some guys coming up he's already losing potential like he's boosted up right now by stat growth he might maintain that but still might be best to start handing over the rent to the bottom six to, to younger guys here but the center core is going to be a little interesting we're going to actually have to I mean Sugar could play center again but it's only 72 face offs I mean maybe Maybe fourth line, but still it's not the greatest of face-offs. I'd prefer to have it around around 80 almost So yeah still might be beneficial to look elsewhere, but yeah anyway, um, I Think just some minor trades here if we're gonna make any any moves So let's check and see What we can or need to move here so goalies, we're going to be signing, I think, Svensson. Yeah, we're going to be signing Svensson this next year to play in the uh, AHL, so don't have to, no goalies. This guy we just drafted, so we can hold off on that. Don't have to move him yet. But I think there's a few bottom dudes around, yeah, pretty trash guys around here, like this guy. Although 2065 isn't horrible for a low top nine, I would prefer him to be higher up, and he's a sniper. So he's, he's out of there. Um, some of these other... I'll wait on a couple of these other guys. Okay. Top, yellow top nines here. When was he drafted? 
26. So, yeah, he would have to head out. Plus, he's a playmaker. This guy, sniper. But I'll hold off on him because I don't have to trade him yet. I'll package these two guys together, I think. That guy we can hold on to a bit. Again, another sniper, so it's not amazing. Yikes, Bonk, though. I think we should trade Bonk at this point. 59 at 21. I don't think he's getting anywhere, especially as a sniper. So he can go on his own, I think. How about... What, could I get the... Eh, actually, if I could package all three of these guys together, I might get something pretty damn good. Yikes, man. A lot of guys not really panning out here. On the low elite side of things. Champion team, but a terrible record. Okay, well, we should be able to get a pretty damn good second for this, and that's what I'm after. Well, damn it, they don't have their own second. Ugh. Who has their second? I would love to get their second. Oh, uh, maybe... No, unfortunately not them. They have Chicago's first. Nope. I'm looking for a, a good second that's on the block, if there is one. But I don't, I'm not seeing a lot of great seconds on the block. If I could find Chicago... Oh, here we go. New Jersey's is pretty good. Theirs is pretty good. So consider New Jersey's for sure. The Isles. Nope. Uh, San Jose... Oh, San Jose's is really good. Yeah. pretty good what was their record at oh yeah holy hell yeah let's get that San Jose pick definitely get that one and we might be able to get a little something else after that I don't know the value might be a bit skewed by just having that many guys in there but let's double check we just have all our normal picks one two three four five six and seven so we can grab some other things here I'm not going to get all this, obviously. I'm just sticking stuff in here just to see what they say. Oh, what the hell? Okay, apparently I miss a, I underestimated the uh, the value that I was putting in, and we got all of that, so that's hilarious. Really? I mean, all right. Solving that need now, basically, is like another three. If I could somehow manage it. Well, there are no draft restrictions thing going on right now. Getting a feel for the draft, but I'm pretty sure I'm getting there. So this next franchise mode that we start up very soon, we'll pretty much know what we're doing. Right, so basically, I'm just going to go for, for a three now, so this guy could do it. Pirate is at least growing well. Peterman, not so much. He's looking like a trade asset. He was drafted 27. Was that just... Oh, that was just last year, so I don't even have to do that yet. So hold on to him. You never know. Uh, Grabeshkov, also that year, so okay. Neither of those have to get moved yet. Mayor. I know that I just drafted this guy, but as a low top six, he might be able to get me a three. And that's kind of all I have left here. Well, Bell's actually kind of growing well, although he is a playmaker. In low top nine, if I could package them together with LaBelle there. Or Mayor. I think Mayor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't really need... Eh. No. I got, I got other guys for that role. Alright, let's get a good third here. I don't have one. Rough. Who has a third? One of you rebuilding type teams must have a third somewhere. Did Chicago? Yes, they do. That should be enough, actually. What if I... No, it's not going to be enough just for that. Maybe just for the top six. I might not have to give up both of them. If I have to give up both of them, I'll give up both of them, but... Rather not. Yeah. There we go. Do those two. All right. 
Okay, yeah, gift horse. Whatever. We, I think we ripped off the other team with the other pick, so <laughs> I'll give you a bit extra there of guys I'm likely not ever going to use. So there we are. That'll likely be our trade deadline here. I don't really think that uh, we need to do anything else here at the deadline. Like, yeah, I don't know, man. It's That's kind of it. Like, I can't really think of a I mean, I, I, I could see a hole we're going to, like, I, we could fill, but it's... I'm not going to take away time from Wong or Strite, obviously. I think it's not a good idea. So, all right. We'll keep an eye. Strite plus 7. Wong plus 13. We want to see if this combination will indeed work. That's the idea here. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But we're going to try it out here at the end of the season. So, let's see. Let's see if these pairings are a good thing for us. Let's sim up to the end. Past the deadline and everything. Yeah, 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 Pro Scout. I'm aware. Just made some trades, man. Thank you, though. All right. Uh, Velarde and Dermot to Colorado. Hort, uh, San Jose getting Horton, Brigley. Couple prospects. Ooh, tough shootout loss right there, but we answer right back with a win. And get a point out of that shootout loss. So it's not the end of the world. Barahowski. Okay, that's Burnaby. Not the biggest of deals, but still kind of sucks. So Barahowski on the left hand side, who goes in? Krause, yeah, let's just keep on Krausen. What? Uh oh. Oh shit, so Nylander got in, it didn't say, but Nylander got injured. Oh, Alright, well, that sucks. Holy hell, I didn't even notice that. Who comes up? Shit. Oh, they both have to clear waivers. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, no. Well, I'm not going to lose Prosser, obviously, so we're going to have to risk Elvis. Yep, we're going to have to risk him. I don't think someone will claim him at that 75 overall. But I'm not, I don't think I'm going to keep him up. Damn, man. That is unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, maybe not because Rensfeld was doing better, but let's see if his stats drop off here now. That kind of sucks. Burnaby Aces. Who's... Oh, yeah. Stuff this dude in there. I want to keep Prosser there. Yeah, I'm aware of that. I, I already did this. Thank you. <laughs> Damn, man. Tough law. Uh, whoa, we won the game where he got injured. Oh, Liam, what the hell? That was short. Okay, I'm glad. But now... Like, why do I even have to call... Uh, I know why you have to, but damn it. Now I'm, like, worried that we'll lose Elvis here. I want him to be the good, a good backup for us. But, whatever. If we lose him, it's not the biggest deals if we lose him. It's just, it just would kind of suck for our uh, playoff hopes here. Let's see. Someone might claim with the lack of goalies all around the league. No, no one did. Okay, good. I was going to say, he's only 75. He shouldn't really be claimed, but you never know. I've thought that before and lost a guy, so... Who knows? All right, Elvis, get back in there. Tough loss against Anaheim, but again, we get a point. Come back with a win. Come back with another win. Uh, another loss, but we get a point out of it. So we're we're releasing overtimes and stuff. Here's yet another injury. Now to Tikhan off in the AHL. So uh, Fair Brother hops in there and gives us some better chemistry. <laughs> All right, continuing on here. Uh, we lost again here to Washington. That's not good. We're not scoring recently. Really not what you want to see, but, you know. What can you do? Not going to have a pick around there, so it's not really worth. I'm seeing if there's like a, yeah, let's got this guy. Centers. It's kind of the idea here. There's a few centers that, or if there's a center, I'll definitely want to take a look at them around here. All right, we got one, but he's gonna have shitty face-offs, so yeah. It's always the case with those late round picks. It's 
It's like the early round pick wingers have better face-offs than guys who have played center most of their life, which is kind of interesting. <laughs> I really think that EA needs to change that to make, like, dudes be okay at face-offs, like, later round. Like, maybe that could be one of their biggest strengths, but, like, they kind of suck in a lot of other places. And you're hoping to develop those other things, like, you know, of a good variety of draft picks would be. All right, any of these meet? All right, there's a, he's being scouted. All right, these lows we want to check out. You as well. Yep. Ariel Anderchuk, interesting. Lows, okay, there they are. And that'll be about it here. Oh, a few of them. Those two are to be scouted, though, and that's it. Okay. Continuing on here. Couple losses in a row right there. Can we turn it around right here? There's one in overtime and another one in reg. There we go. Uh, Marinoff now. Oh, that's a real... Ooh, he's out for... Oh, man. May 2nd he's out for, so... Maybe we will call someone up. Maybe we actually will. Because that's he's actually out for a while. And I kind of want some offense there. Nordgren isn't the guy to do that. Who is it? Oh, power play. That's right. Okay, hold on. Hold up. All right. Um. Yeah, let's actually consider calling someone up right here. Because Nordgren's not really a guy I want to replace a guy like Miranoff who has power play time. And I could throw someone else in there, but, sh I mean, Shigeru could go in there, to be fair. Yeah, maybe, I yeah, you know, uh, yeah, Shigeru's actually really good on that power play. You know what, let's do that. Or he could be. He has the potential to be. He's got the awareness. Let's try him. And let's see what he does on the power play. And if not, by the time the playoffs hit, we could call someone up. All right, couple wins right there. You like to see it. Another back-to-back. -back. Three sets of back-to-bats in a row. <laughs> and now Norgren is actually injured. Yikes, man. So I'd have to put in. It's not in for too long, so I'm actually gonna put in Labushkin, I think, on the third line, even though it's a little crazy. Um, again, he's literally only out for like. I know we're going to get a minus there, but he's really only out for, like, a couple games. That's Burn to be here. So first off, it was that, what was his name? Barahowski. And probably the defense. Yep, Tikhanov. 24-74, man. He's not looking like he's doing it. It's his last year, so he's probably out of here. Never really got anywhere to Tekken off. Blood off is at least getting towards there, but yeah. You can see, man, most of these guys just not quite panning out for us. Wow, we won every single game in those three sets of back-to-backs. That is impressive. Another big win then. Oh, God. Oh, okay, okay. He's fully healed. Good, good, good. <laughs> I was like, no, don't get injured again. I can't, can't do it. Oh, my goodness. We're killing it. Nordgren is back. Labushkin, good for you, man. How you done in those few games? Plus four. With three points. What? Keep going. <laughs> Keep going then. I don't care. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. He was, he was back in too. Get out of here. Keep going then, man. We're winning games. You're scoring points. Holy hell. Big win. Holy hell. All right. There we are. Stop the tape. This kid needs to be locked away. What a friggin' end of the season that was. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 game winning streak, then an overtime loss. And then, a, hold on, what was the point streak at? Oh, no, 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 that. Ah, if only that was, if only that was an OT loss. That point streak, holy shit. If that was, oh my god, I would start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 on Ottawa. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
20, 21, 22, 23. That would have been a 23 game point streak had that had that loss right there just been an OT loss. Alas, Washington. Oh. <laughs> Still, what a great end of the season. And Labushkin killed it on that third line there at the end. Which is kind of hilarious. I'm almost considering playing him there. Even with the minus chemistry. Oh, what? Oh, no, that's playoffs. Yeah, let's see how he did. Five points in seven games played as a, and a plus six. Um, I kind of want to keep playing him there. How did Sugar do on the power play? Uh, I didn't do anything. Didn't get a point. Hmm. Very weird. Put Labushkin in there, did all that. How many goals did he have? And how many shots? Two goals off 14 shots. He was taking some shots, man. I'm kind of considering playing him still there. I mean, it kind of worked weirdly. I might put him on the... You know, let's just leave him exactly where it was because it's not like it's going to give us a plus or anything. Get a couple guys on their one-time sides. Help out Larry there. Very interesting. Mm. Alright, anyway. Season is over. Let's check out how we did before we get into the playoffs here. We actually had a tremendous end of the season there. Looks like Mevinov led the team in points, was above point per game. We actually stole first from LA. Holy hell. Yeah, we went on a tear at the end. Had a 50 win season and stole first from LA. Crazy. Goals four per game, 3.8. Goals against 2.8. Holy hell. The ratio is real. That's nice. 25.5 on the power play. Not the greatest power play, but whatever. Only allowed one shorty throughout the course of the year. That's good. 84.6% on the penalty kill. That's a good stat. We've not had that before. Led our division in shorties. 25-11-5 on home ice. 27-9-5 on the road. 9-0-1 oh, in the last 10. Yeah, we absolutely turned it on. All right. Entire league. Let's see how we stack up. So we're not getting the presents, but that's probably a good thing. Goals for third in the NHL. Goals against third in the NHL. Okay. Power play. Seventh in the NHL. Yeah, seventh in the NHL. Power play, not bad. Uh, penalty kill. This one should be interesting. Third in the NHL. That's our best penalty killing season yet, I'm pretty sure. So there we go. Eight shorties, four. Fourth in the NHL in shorthanded goals. I mean, we're up there, man. We're up there in almost every category. Yep, we're top ten in every category, top five in most. The only thing that slacked off a bit this year was our power play, which is I'm kind of okay with, I guess. Five on five scoring is more important anyway. All right, point wise, there's Medvinov with 87 points, 44 goals. What a year for Medvinov. He's never really going to be a guy taking home a bunch of hardware, but. I mean, he's a great player, he's on a good contract, and I mean, he's been great for us, man. What else can you say? He does what needs to be done, I love him. Larkin with 79 points, not quite point per game, Darlene 69, nice. Volshenko, bit of an off year, man, only 68 points, didn't hit 70, but it's it's going to happen from time to time. He actually hopped up to high elite, which is interesting. Korolyuk had a 64 point year, Holtz with a 60 point year, so all of our top six got 60 or more points, which is great. Pearson! Got 52. Don't. What? How are you gonna fucking... Are you really freezing on me, game? Fuck's sake, it's an... What? Jesus Christ, man. I can't even dashboard. I can't even press the Xbox button. Are you serious right now? I'm just checking the stats. Fix your fucking game, man. Oh, wait, it's back. Holy shit. It's actually back. Weird. I just, like, switched. I did. That was interesting. Oh, man. I tried a lot of things before resetting. I switched controllers, and then I, like, turned it off. Turned my controller off. Turned it on. Did some stuff, and then it just kind of started up again. That was very interesting. But I'm glad it's back. Anyway, Pearson had 52 points. Might actually 
Yeah. Might actually maintain with some stat growth, but he is going to keep dropping off, so I think this might be... Yeah, this might be his last year here, man. I don't know. Lowry, 51 points. Might actually get stat growth and bump him up more. Might maintain. But Fox, I think, is gone. So I might hold on to Lowry again. Might play him fourth line and let Fox it go. Yeah, I'm actually thinking to do that. Because Lowry should actually be boosted up. Pearson, uh, I kind of want to keep both of them. But I know they're both going to drop. And if they both get a bit of more stat growth, they, could, they should be able to maintain, though. So I'm kind of thinking I can keep both of them and try some other guys up there. But Fox is gone. Fox is gone for sure. Miranoff, 35 points. Tough injury, oh man. Big concussion there at the end. Only had four power play points throughout the year. He was on the secondary point, though. Shagirl didn't get a single point on the power play there at the end. Nordgren did okay. Sundstrom was a minus. Got a lot of points on the power play. 12. Well, not a lot, a lot, but decent chunk. All right, defensively. So, Wong was now plus 20, Strait's a plus 16. Now, we seem to do better with these combinations, so I'm kind of tempted to, well, continue with them. If we need to switch them back for the playoffs, we can always do that, but it seemed to have a good effect. And I'm going to keep Labushkin playing forward <laughs> for now, because, well, it, that was working too, by the looks of it. If it doesn't for the playoffs, I could, you know, switch stuff back, but yeah. Anyway, Boots, I have 79 point year on the point once again. Should put himself in Norris contention. I don't know, his plus or minus isn't as great as it's been in, in the past, so maybe he'll get beat out, but that friggin' ice time is still out of this world because he's doing power play, penalty kill, file on five. It's crazy. Kale McCarr, 60 points, man. Great year for him, too. I mean, like, that's, I love it. I love having two defensemen like this. I've never actually had two producing defensemen this high who weren't on the same pairing in, 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 in any NHL. I, I've had, like, remember in our... Was that our Buffalo one with Darlene and uh, Ristolainen, or was that... Uh, I can't remember exactly, but there's a series where we had two... I don't know. There's, there's been a bunch where we've had that, but it's always the same pairing. They'll just, like, go off some years and both get, like, 50, 60 points. But now we have two guys on two different pairings. One almost 80 points. The other was 60 points. It's beautiful. And Green, I love Green in the top six. Really, really glad I have him. I'm on a really reasonable top six extension, too. Was it two point... I think it's lower than the one he's at now. So, yeah, very reasonable top six extension for Green. Wong we got for another year after this at that point nine. He looks like he'll settle in as a top six guy. So I want to sign that extension sometime next year and make sure it's not too high. Because I want my top six. We got to save money in certain places. The top six is where we're going to have to make it happen. Anyway, let's see the goalies. What happened here? Um... Nylander got slightly better, but Rensfeld really did well throughout the course of the year. And uh, they split time kind of how... Yeah, Nylander's record did improve there, but Rensfeld's record is just out of this world. He's really a guy I can... I think we already extended him to. Oh, wait. I didn't see anything pop up. Hold on a sec. It might not have saved my extensions. Because I actually... Um, my, my, what I, 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 I saved last time, or I didn't act exactly save last time. I actually accepted an invite to get out. I come kind of screwed up there, but the auto save helped me out. But yeah, I don't think I actually off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't actually get extensions here. So fuck me. God damn it. Yeah. Ah, I'm actually going to have to spend a little bit more on some dudes. That's a little, yeah, some weird stuff happening right here, but that, this one's my fault. It's, uh, it didn't actually save me offering extensions. So, yeah, we're gonna have to spend a little bit more than we were. It's at 6.73, so, oops. So, right there for Darlene. Bit unfortunate, man. And the Rensfeld one's gonna be interesting. I think I held off on a lot of these guys, but at, now we could at least, let's see, Miranoff wants, he just wants that, okay, that's about, that's the same for him, but yeah, since Darlene, I think, jumped up in overall, he actually wants a bit more, I could be wrong, maybe that is around the same amount I offered him, but yeah, my bad, Rensfeld, we obviously want, yeah, I'm glad I, glad I noticed this, but yeah, we should be able to get Rensfeld to a, yeah, around the same deal. 
Yep, so right here. For your extension, which saves a tiny bit of money on him. But yeah, we want to do that definitely for uh, this next year. Is there anything else? Uh, green. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, I didn't do him either. Yep. Glad, I'm gl glad. I'm really glad I remembered all this. Okay, green. This actually might be a bit more than I was getting before. Oh, whoa. Let's not do that. Uh, 2.5. So it's still saving a bit of money. Let's get that done. Saving a tiny bit of money with him. Labushkin doesn't want an extension. That's okay, I guess. He is 34. All right, I'm just going to check everything else. You know what? At this point, since I think I'm... I'm not going to use Fox, but I think I'm going to use Lowry and Pearson again. And hope they get some stat jumps. Although... Uh, I think Lowry for sure, yes, I'll use. Because he should get some stat growth. I don't know if Pearson will. Oh, man. Okay, I'll hold off on him. Because they're... Well, I think they're they're planning on that stat growth here now. Yeah, I'll still hold off. Yeah. I'll still wait. Okay. Anyway, that'll that'll do it. My bad. Damn it. I'm a little... We might have cost us a bit, a bit of extra money here and there, but it's not the biggest of deals. Let's actually... All right, let's go back and check out the league stats now. I got carried away, but I'm, I'm really glad I went ahead and looked at that again. I'll remember to save today. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, wow, Kucherov, what a year. 117 points for him, 111 points for Mar uh, Point. March or so with 110, still on Vegas, hilariously. McKinnon was 107, Eichel 106, Sergei Fedorov 102, and the Dabwa 100. So, 1, 2, 7, 100 point scores. Tuck almost with a What the hell? <laughs> Vegas all of a sudden doing good again. All right, goals. Would be Marcheseau, 57. Okay, 37-year-old Marcheseau going to get that Maurice Richard. Assist leader. Point with 82. Wow, assist per game. Those eyebrows, man. The power of the eyebrows. All right. Plus minus leaders. Barkov, plus 39. So probably going to be the Selkie winner unless he completely sucked on face-offs. So probably didn't. All righty. Um... Where's my, yeah, uh, Sagan has a tremendous shooting percentage, but where's, oh goodness gracious, March is like nowhere up here, so his shooting percentage is going to be out of this world. Yep, almost 20% shooting, jeez. Alright, who's the most clutch here? McKinnon, 11 game winners in 52, but there's Ehlers with 9 and 30. That's extremely clutch. Power play goal leader, 26 power play goals for Sagan. That's incredible. Power play points. Sergey Fedorov with 37. Yikes. What a guy he's turning out to be, huh? Shorthanded goal leader, Tuberov. And we should have one of our guys near here. Maybe not. Uh, I guess we didn't have a lot this year, but that's a lot from Tuberov. Same with the points. Tuberov, then. Oh, it's a bandage that. Okay. I thought Borkstrom was a Panther. Yeah, he was at one point. Also, Barkov. Jeez. Oh, there's Lowry. Hype. And Kasperi Kapanen. a boy, Cappy, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, hits. Klim Kossin with 207. No one else above 200. All right, fine. I guess I'll do fights. Since I did hits, I'll do fights now, too. Yeah, not a whole lot, man. Really falling off. Yikes. <gasps> yeah. The other Medvedov fights, too. All right. Let's do the defensive stats. Uh, okay. Oh. Oh no, that's not. Oh. Oh, oh God. O'Reilly. He's making a resurgence. He wants. To, he wants to sell you one more time before he retires. Oh goodness gracious. What's his plus? Oh, he's a minus sixteen. No, no, no. Where is Barkov? I don't see Barkov anywhere up here actually. So that's a bit worrying. For his. There's Hughes up there. Oh man, you got. You got to give it up to Hughes though. He's he's up there, man. McDavid's also up there. Got to consider all of them. Where the hell is Barkov? I don't see him anywhere. Wow. Okay, I might have missed him, but I really don't see him, so screw him. All right, let's go to defenseman now. And yes, indeed, Bootsayev up. The, all right, Don, you're not going to beat him, Don. Sorry. Bootsayev, 79 points, plus 25. They have almost identical plus minus. Bootsayev is nine more points. More goals, more assists. 
More power play production, more shorthand production. Ah, Dolan actually does have more ice time. So congrats on that. Um, Dolan actually has more hits and more blocked shots. Oh, wait a second. Uh, but Bootsaf has a better ratio. Oh, man, that this is actually going to be real tight. I actually don't know. It's so close. It's it's actually really, really close. I mean, the hits and the block shots, the differential isn't huge. But then again, ah, the giveaway takeaway differential is quite huge. The amount, the, that's a 14 difference in takeaways. Shit, man, I don't know. I think they'd give it to Bootsaev, but they might give it to to Darlene, to Darlene there as well. Hmm, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Bootsaev could do it again. I would give it to him, but I'm also biased. <laughs> but Darlene definitely makes a case for himself. With the hits and block shots, but that's really the only case he makes, and maybe the slight amount more of ice time, but it's not that much. 10 second average, which, I mean, if you look at the minute totals, he has. Oh, what? Boots have his more minutes, yet. Oh, he had less games played? I didn't notice that. How many games played? Ooh, you know what? Six, six games. He wouldn't have caught up in points, but anything else? I don't know. He could have had more hits, more block shots. Mm, maybe. I don't know. All right, it's real close now between Bootsave and Darlene. Very, very close. Yeah, it's a tough call. All right, well, let's check out the tendies here. And. Whoa there. Yikes. Some shitty tendies this year. All right, well, Matt Murray's got to be considered one of the ones up there, sure. Um, I guess Hellebuck would, too, because they're, he has the be way better goals against a near enough save percentage. Jeez, what a horrible... I think Hellebuck and Murray are tied right now. Anyone else deserving to be in that conversation? Not real. Let's go to 50 games. Gibson, okay, yeah, Gibson's got to be up there. But since... Eh, he might be up there alone, actually, with that. But I'd, he does have below. He has a lot less games played than those two, so I, I would insert him in with Murray and Hellebuck to give some. Yeah, because he has a lot less, at least a lot less games played than Hellebuck. Yeah, let's compare Murray and Hellebuck. I'm trying to think of how many shot differentials that is. It's not a huge amount of shots. So yeah, Murray definitely deserves to be in there because he tactically faced a higher quality or quantity of shots in uh, or average. But yeah, I think now and then you want to maybe think Thompson because of that low, low goals against maybe in there. Oh, is he a rookie? Another guy to get screwed over? Maybe Thompson, but for sure Gibson, Murray, and Hellebuck, I think. Because they all, yeah, Thompson has under. You know what? I'd say no because his save percentage isn't that great. And he's at a lot less games played. But he has that six shutouts. And no one would have guessed him anyway. So even if I put him in there, no one knows who this fucking guy is. <laughs> so I could put him in there. So yeah, he's in there. But yeah, I think Hellebuck, Murray, and Gibson. Let me know what you guys think. But that seems like a three-way tie to me. And you're wondering why I'm saying Hellebuck in there. Well, the fact is, it's like that goals against is real good. Say percentage might be a bit lower than Murray and definitely lower than Gibson. But Gibson also has way less games played. So yeah, I'm thinking three-way time. Gibson, Murray, and Hallibach. Uh Yeah, he could throw Thompson in there, but no one could. All right, that looks like it. Okay, let's go to rookies now and see... If anyone's real, okay, only 49 points. He was a 30-goal scorer, but he's 24 years old. Oh, man, if that goalie's... Uh, we're going to get ripped off again, aren't we? We're going to get ripped off again, aren't we? Oh, it doesn't look like he was a goalie. This is pretty good rookie numbers for Schultz, though, at the same time. Pretty damn good, but yeah, the, okay, I, I guess the uh, Thompson wasn't a rookie. Damn it, I was kind of hoping he was. <laughs> but he's not. All right, fine. Yikes, Elnyuk. Poor guy, he's got the elite potential, so maybe he'll grow. Rocky Schultz, those are good numbers, though, for Schultz, man. Same with Paradis, these are good numbers for the rookies. 
Honestly, I consider giving Paradis. Honest, yeah, I'll give this guy the fucking Calder. Yeah, sure, it's only 44 games played, but the other guy only has 49 points, man. He's 24. This guy's 23, a goalie. He's got those stats. They never give it to goalies. It's just silly. Whatever. Oh, well. Oh, well. All right, so moving on here. Towards the Ploffs. So we got to face Rocky Schultz by the looks of it here. <laughs> Against Nashville. Oh, where am I going here? There we are. All righty. Tolvin and Duchesne. Pugliarvi, pretty solid. Brat, Pajot, Arvidsson. Center core kind of falls up. But they do have... Eh, they have good... Oh, yeah. This is... Oh, yeah. Real good depth on this team, I remember. Incredible depth on this team. Probably got a lot. Of, Skinner's probably up here. Yeah. That's pretty scary. You know what? That's a pretty solid defensive core as well. And they got Rocky Schultz. Who, did he play in the playoffs last year? Yes, he did. Oh, no, that's in the AHL. He did pretty decently in the AHL. Nothing incredible. But that might be a weakness. We can expose uh, Rocky Schultz there. Yeah, a pretty, pretty solid team. I'd say maybe they out-depth us, for sure. Um, but, you know, we've got... We've got some uh, some cup experience now, and we've got some good spread out talent here in the top six. So, yeah, I think I think we've definitely got a good shot here to win this series. I mean, got three nineties in that top six, spreading the love out a bit. Of course, on the back end, boots I have Makar. Yeah, I think we. I definitely think our defensive core could outplay theirs, but the question is the goaltender. Speaking of which, I will turn off rotations just to make sure we start with Nylander. Then if we need to switch him, we can go right to Rensfeld. Again, we're going to start with Strike here, but if, uh, if if we need some help, we can boom, switch that, get some more you know, more, uh, chemistry and stuff like that. But I want to keep Strike in the role that he needs. All right. All right, so let's do that. Let's turn off rotations. Someone remind me in the comments to turn those back on, please. So don't forget. Oh, it's up here. All right. There we are. Turn that off. And hold on, guys. Just give me one second. Then we'll start up uh, the playoff sim. All right. We are ready here to get started with the playoffs. Home ice advantage against the Nashville Predators. Can we? Well, can we take the series lead here? Game one. Uh, well, yeah, a bunch of contract renewals. We, oh my god, we crushed them. Crushed them. Seven to one. Wow, okay. That's one way to start off the postseason. With a bang there on home. Uh, it's got the crowd into it. Got the team going here. Game two. More, yeah, we got Luke Greenback and Miranoff. And Rensfeld, sweet. Uh, game two, okay, we lose that one five to two. They even the score there. Couldn't score in that one, and they got goals on us. But, so far, Nylander's not doing too bad. Game three. Come on, guys. Let's get another one. On the road now. Three to two win. There we go. Okay, I'll take it. A win's a win in the playoffs, baby. Good job on the road. Game four on the road here. Seven to two loss. That time we got blown out. Okay, okay. All right. Game five. Pivotal game five. We got to get this win here. Don't go down. Don't go down. Not in our own building here, Seattle. Big three to two overtime loss. Barahowski injured again in the AHL. Okay, so Kraus obviously hops in. There you go. All right, big win right there. All right, three games to two here against Nashville. On the road here to try to close out. Try to close out this series. Come on now, let's go. Come on, game six. Get it done. Yeah, 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 we're done. Come on, get it done, get it done. Four to two loss. God damn it, game seven, round one. Yikes, not happy about that. Okay, what's, what's, what's interesting? Norgren, why did it say his individual performance? He's not even in here. Maybe that's why his individual performance, because he's he's scratched. Okay. <laughs> All right. How's Labouche? Okay. Now he's a minus three only with two points. Okay. So the third line got kind of kind of worked there. Okay. So that wasn't working really. So let's get Norgren in there. Switch him and Pearson to their natural sides. Fourth line were also minuses for, well, some of them. Not all of them. Yikes. Second line. Minuses for the most part. 
But they got points. First line pluses with points. Hmm. All right. Well, maybe I'll, I'll probably let it run. I don't think I'll need a minus one, minus two, minus one. Uh, Nylander hasn't done incredibly, but <laughs> Rens felt when he had to hop in got kind of thrashed as well. So I guess we'll keep we're, we're going to stick with Nylander. I think for game seven, though, we're going to put uh, for chemistries. Yeah, let's go for chemistries for game seven. Let's go for that on game seven. Oh, man. Hopefully I don't regret that, but I don't think I will. Now Tikhanov is injured. Good stuff. Plenty of injuries to, to Burnaby. But now we get good chemistry. <laughs> All right. Game seven here. Yikes, man. Didn't want to have to see a game seven in round one. We needed to close that out in game six, but we failed to do so. Now... We really need to step up here in game seven. I don't want to lose in round one now. Come on, guys. Let's go. Game seven, round one. We got to get off to a good start. There we go. Dahleen puts one on the board. One to nothing on Schultz. That's a great start here. Let's get another one. Let's get another one. Power play. Now's the time to do it. Can't capitalize on the power play. Okay. All right. Shots are pretty even here, but we're starting to get a... Uh, an advantage here late in the first. Can we put up another marker at the end of the period? We cannot. One to nothing after one. 13 shots to eight, though. We seem to kind of have the advantage in that period, and it shows on the scoreboard. Got to keep it going here, though, in the second. Let's go, Seattle. More goals. Need, need more. Need more. We're putting the shots on. We're looking good in that regard. Power play for Nashville. We shut it down. Good job. They're starting to put some more shots on. And there they go. Victor Arvidsson ties the game up. We need offense. There we are. Korolyuk gets another one. Two to one. Takes the lead right back. And Dylan Larkin from the high circle makes it three to one. There we go. Great job, Seattle. Great job. Keep it up. And out of this period. Out of this period. There we go. Okay. Two goal lead going into the third period. We're on the whole mice. The fans are behind you. You have a two goal lead going into third. You cannot blow it. Rule number one. Let's go. Don't blow this. Power play to start off for Nashville. Okay, we kill it off. Great penalty kill. Oh, God. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yep. Good job, refs. Oh, and Sundstrom says fuck you and makes it 4-1. to one. Get fucked, man. Get fucked. There we go. All right. And that should do it. We are off to the second round. Beautiful. Beautiful. 4-1 to one win. Korolyuk, two points. Nylander had a great game. And Darlene with two points as well. Korolyuk also had four hits. Playoff performer, man. Playoff guy. Great stuff. Great stuff. All right, let's see how the team did. As well as some personal stats here. All right, so. Uh, yeah, the goals against wasn't great there. Neither one. Uh, yeah, I'm not happy with that ratio. We did allow a lot of goals in some games, so maybe I'll stick with these these chemistry lines on the defense. It worked in in that sim at least. I might try to try them for the next one here, because yeah, defense wasn't great throughout that series. Power play was good. Penalty kill was great. So special teams was good. We just got to fix some five on five stuff. No shorties against. We got one shorty four, three and one on home ice, one and two on the road. So not super strong on the road there, and we had to win in seven there. Yeah, I think I'll think I'll stick with Wong there. I want to go for some chemistries here. Try to get that going. Oh wait, 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 not, <laughs> not here. Playoff stats. There we go. I just want to I just want to take a gander at everyone. All right, so Korlik with eight points, Holtz with seven, Larkin with six, Medvedev with six, Volshenk with five, Darlene with five. So again, there's your top six up there. All of them producing fairly well. So that's good. Suns from Fox up Pearson. So that third line really is not getting the job done. Yeah, they're kind of slacking here a bit. Hopefully with uh, Nordgren in there, it'll be better. He was at least an even in that game. Offensively, Labushkin, yeah, he's a hot, hot minus. <laughs> Green and straight. Yeah, not great defensive plus minuses here. But yeah, Nylander's not doing too bad. So I'm going to keep rolling with him. Keep rolling with him, man. Yep. It's not doing too bad. But we know we can go with the Rensfeld. I'm not going to let those stats dictate whether we, if, if Nylander shits the bed here in this uh, 
in this next series. Like, I'll, I'll, I can go to Rensville, man. He won us a cup. He's here. For, oh, L.A., all right. The two, two, two heads of the Pacific Division going at it here in the second round. All right. All right. Let's see what you got for us, L.A. What do you got? I know we know they got Lafreniere, so they got some elite talent. But can we shut down that elite talent is the question. So, yeah, Lafreniere, Fedorov, and Rodrigo Stepan, man. A young young team coming up. Kempi, well, kind of young. Not, yeah, fairly young. Brad Murley. I don't really... Yeah, it's hard to say what they have. We'll have to check it after. I think their defense isn't too strong. Nedeljkovic may be injured right now, but it has him in there. But maybe he's injured. In which case, Tarasov. Yeah, that could be our in right there if they have an injured goalie. Could be able to, we just got to keep the puck out of the net. Now I'm going to stick with uh, Wong back on that top four and straight back in the top six. And we'll see how this works out for us. So game one here. We should, we have the home ice advantage. We won that late in the season. They won their series in six. We won in seven. But hopefully with these new lines, the, at least in defense, more chemistry, more defense. Keep the puck out of the net and score some goals here. Light them up, Seattle. Let's go. Game one. Damn it, Strikes injured. It's just a mild concussion, so he'll be back relatively soon. Still does suck, man, especially missing Miranoff as well. So, all right, facing a bit of injuries here. But now we have plus three on that combo, so there you have it. Damn it, we lost an OT, six to five. Didn't keep the puck in the net. We scored, but didn't keep the puck in the net. Oh, and one here in the second round. Game two, come on now. Ugh, Burnaby. All right, Fairhouse, get in there. And Tikhanov, most likely. Yep. Come on. Yes! Ooh, man, we're not able to keep the puck out of the net against these guys, though. That's not a good sign. Six goals allowed, five goals allowed. We outscored them in this one, but yikes, man. At least we're, it's it's a shootout. This is a shootout, like, matchup. They don't really have a goaltender, and we're not really able to keep that puck out of the net right now. Game three. Game three, let's go. Come on, guys, on the road. Yes, Mironov. Mironov's back. Yes, this is huge. This is really big for us. I feel like we need him. Get Norgren out of there, who's a minus two in three games played. Mironov is back, baby. And get him back on that power play as well. Yes, sir. There we go. All right. Beautiful. That's what we needed here. Come on. Game three on the road. Ugh, five to two loss. Couldn't score. And we've allowed five or six goals in every one of these games. Oh, man. Yikes. Can't be happy with that, man. We're just really getting scored on here. Really getting scored on. Yeah, I got to do it. Rensfeld's going in. We got to shake it up. I know what, Rent, what Rensfeld can do. We have him for another year now, so I'm going to I'm gonna throw him in, give him a start here. Let's see if he can steal us a game. We might need to have a game stolen. So come on now. Game game four, big pivotal game, a road game. Rensfeld's got to hop in. He's got to get the job done for us. If he doesn't win it for us, man, I don't know. I don't know, Seattle. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already put him back in. Come on. There we go. Four to two win. Yeah. If we allowed five goals again, we would have lost. So Rensfeld gets the gets the start back on home for game five. Tied series. Two games apiece. Game five. Pivotal. Back on home ice. Let's get the job done. Let's go, Seattle. Six to three win, baby. All right. 2.5 goals against in these two games for Rensfeld. I'm going to keep rolling with him. Game six. We could we could end the series right now with three straight wins. Can we do it here on the road in L.A.? Come on, Rensfeld. You got it, baby. Seattle, come on. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. Five to four win. Hell yeah. All right. So Rensfeld hops in. We win every single game. Strites back so Labushkin comes out. And we're not going to sit straight. That's for sure. Might also have been Labushkin, man. He, wow, his plus minus turned well around in that little stretch there. But I said we get, we still got to play. You can't not play strike. You, you just can't do that. Yeah, I know he's a minus two and eight games played, but still, I got to continue playing him, man. That combo though. Well, oh well. Keep rolling with it. Three straight wins to advance onto the conference finals against a scary Winnipeg team who are eight and one. Won a series in five and swept the other one. Okay. 
That's a bit scary here. I want to see what those LA lines were, though, for sure. Before, uh, you know what? Actually, let's check the stats here before we go too much further. Was that Volchenko I just saw up there? He must have exploded in that series. All right, 4.08 goals for, 3.62 goals against. Yeah, hopefully with Rensfeld in here, that'll start getting better for us. But yeah, we're, we're going with Rensfeld now. Nylander had an opportunity, but... Well, he'll have another one next year with, you know, growing and be more of a better goalie. You know, well, he's still going to get an opportunity. Yes, we signed Rensfeld again, but that's an insurance policy. If, if Nylander doesn't do well again, I mean, we might consider trading him. And sticking with Rensfeld. All right, so great power play. We've only had 27 opportunities. Which is uh, not a whole lot. Yeah. And ooh, penalty kill really dropped though on that. Yeah, we got we got kind of rocked in that in that last series there. So I'll one good penalty killing series, one bad penalty killing series. I'll kind of take it with a grain of salt. Five and two on home ice, three and three on the road. So road could be improved, but that's that's a more realistic road record. <laughs> that's for sure. In the playoffs. All right. Let's see here. Personal stats. I'm pretty sure I did see Volchenko away. Yeah, Volchenko exploded. Him and Larkin got the job done, both with 15 points, along with Holtz with 15 points. My goodness, the first line came alive. Great stuff. Darlene with 13. Mevinoff with 12. Korolyuk with 11. So in the last series was the first first line. This series was, or sorry, last series was the second line. This series was the first line. That's what you need. Mironov, holy, what? Four games played and has seven points. What? Oh, man. Did we miss you, Miranoff? Holy hell. Unreal. Pearson was seven points in 13 games played. Jesus, Miranoff. Sundstrom was six points. Lowry is three. Sugar with three. Norgan was one. Offensively, yeah. Makar, Wong, or minus is as a strike. Hmm. And Rensfeld. <laughs> He got fucked with those first stats, so we'll let that come into play, but four games, he's got three wins. Hasn't lost yet, so we're going to continue to roll with him, obviously. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, but now against Winnipeg. This is interesting. This is interesting. Um, yeah, I did want to check out LA's line. Just do a quick run through, just to see what they were. If we even have them fully scouted by this point, yeah, pretty. And it's still not. Fuck it. All right, I don't care then. Winnipeg. All right. Oh, yeah. This, these guys fully scouted. Holy hell! All right, Bushnevich, Obergauer, and Ehlers. Pretty damn solid first line. This guy was taken third overall pick in '24, and my my my, is he coming into his own? Shifley is declining. However. Look at the points. He's got 12 points in nine games played. He's still effective. And he's a veteran presence back there to help out Shernkovich. Uh, and, uh, well, Bjorkstrand's there as a veteran, too. Oh, my goodness. And, yeah. Might not have the correct lines here, but maybe we do. No, he's only got four points. It seems like he is on that third line. So, tremendous depth. Yeah, tremendous depth here. Wow. Really deep offensive core here from Winnipeg. They've got us beat depth-wise. However, the defense, while it is well kind of-ish spread out, it's they don't have a great defensive core. But they have Hellebuck, who did great in the regular season and is doing great here in the playoffs. So, yeah. And a bunch of depth forwards that they could bring in, too. So this, this is a very deep team. Very deep team in the offensive core, but not so much on the defensive end of things. But with Hellebuck back there, it doesn't seem to really be mattering all right, conference finals. Uh, we have the home eyes advantage still. But this is going to be tough, man. They're 8 1 for a reason. So Rensfeld's still in there. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Game one here. Come on now, Seattle. Uh, 3 to 1 loss. Couldn't score. And, uh, well, Rensfeld did all he could. All right, all right. Game two, home ice. Come on, guys. Turn it around. Get the offensive guns working. Three to two. There we go. Good victory. Yeah, this might be a tight, a tight defensive series here. At least Hellebuck's gonna bail them out. So we gotta, we gotta play good in front of Rensfeld. And so far we have. That could be an empty netter right there. All right. Game, game three now on the road. Now we haven't done great on the road, but now's the time to change that. Let's let's get guarantee the split here first game. 
All right, Seattle, let's go. First game, guarantee that split. I don't care about scouting. There we go, a big 3-2 to two overtime victory. Clutch it out on the road and take a 2-1 to one series lead. Can, can, we, can we get both? Can we steal both here on the road? Let's do it. Let's let's do it. Let's let's perform better on the road than we ever have. No, three to two loss. The series is even back up. Two games apiece. Back on home ice for game five here. Oh man, we're not getting enough goals. But can I really? Can are we really going to be able to get goals? I don't know. Game five on home ice. Oh, an overtime loss. Five to four, and we're one. One game away from elimination here. We got to win a game on the road and then come back. Oh man. This is a big one. Okay. I'm actually going to do something that some of you might not agree with. But I feel like it could help us. I feel like it could help us here. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, he's back. he got back to an even, so it's not even his fault. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not going to sit. Uh, I was going to sit straight and put in Labushkin for the chemistry and otherwise. Okay, can we switch this up? 18 points for you. 20. Oh, man. There's nothing wrong with the first line. They're they're doing it. What the second line has yeah, second line's not doing a whole lot here. Only 14 points. 16 for you. Actually, we're, we're getting a bit done here. Man, I don't know. It can't really mess. It can't I don't know. It doesn't seem like anything's wrong. Yeah, I got I gotta trust the team. I gotta trust them. You guys have got to get the job done for me here in the conference finals. Force that game seven, man, then anything can happen. Just do that for me. Force the game seven in front of Rensfeld. Let's go on the road for game six. Can we force the game seven? Yes, six to three victory. All right, force the game seven here for the conference finals. All right, baby, here we go. Game seven on home ice once again. That's what you try to get that home ice for, pivotal game sevens. All right, if we win this, we're off to the Stanley Cup Finals once again. A real chance to defend our title. Let's go, Seattle. Let's go, baby. Come on now. Get off to a good start. Uh-oh, power play for Winnipeg. And Denny scores early on. First shot, first goal for Winnipeg. That's not the way we wanted to start off here. We need a response from Seattle and quick. we got to be able to score on Hellebuck here. Come on, offense. Yes, Miranoff, baby. He's been fantastic these playoffs so far. Ties the game up, and we're out shooting him now. Can we get another one here? Can we get another one? No, the first period ends tied at one, but we tied the game. Out shooting him, but the score is tied. Let's go. Second period, Seattle. Come on now, offense. Get the job done. Power play. Here's a chance. Kale McCarr sneaks into the high slot and blasts one by Hellebuck. We have the lead now, but Denny, fucking who is this guy? Ties it up. Two to two. God damn it. Come on, Seattle. Take that lead back. Take that lead back. Get another one here in the second. Get another one here, Seattle. Let's go. Let's go. Come on now, baby. Oh, man. Going into third period. Tied at two. 23 shots to 18. We need someone to step up in the clutch. Who's it going to be? Third period. Come on, Seattle. Someone's got to step up. Larkin, Voloshenko, Medvinov. One of our big guns has got to step up. Who's it going to be? Bootsayev. We haven't seen your name too much, man. We need you. We need you. Late in the third here. Come on, Seattle. Who's it going to be? Step up. We're out shooting them like crazy. Hellebuck's keeping a minute. And we're going to overtime here. God damn it. Ugh, Hellebuck, I hate you. Tied it to going to overtime here in game seven. How what in how intense this is, man. A true conference finals matchup. Okay, Seattle. I don't care who it is, man. Just get the job done. Get the job done here. And oh my god. And Ehlers scores 30 seconds into overtime. Fucking A. What a heartbreaker. We outplayed him. We outplayed him, but Hellebuck. Hellebuck. That's all. Yeah. Hellebuck. He, he beat us. He beat us that series, man. He really did. Yeah. Tremendous performance. Fuck, who's this Denny guy? Two goals from him, man. Fucking A. Offense, just we just couldn't score on Hellebuck. That's, you run into a hot goalie sometimes. Uh, if we just won that game, we would have been off to, to, to defend our championship. But you know what? It ain't too bad. Uh, it sucks losing like that, though. It really, it really does. It really does. I don't think Boots have actually had a tremendous performance in this play in these playoffs. I could be wrong, but I don't think he was up there. And oh, actually, uh, 18 points to 20 games played is still pretty, still pretty crazy. He didn't take over like he did that last year. 
But we really got a good chunk of points, man. Yeah, Medvinov and Korolyuk, though, and they really kind of fell off in that series. A bit let down by them in that last series. And neither one of our goalies did fantastic. Well, Rensfeld, that one game really hurt his stats, but he should have been brought up higher. Yeah, kind of, kind of rough, man. Kind of rough, but I had to stick with Rensfeld. He didn't do bad in that game by any means. I mean, yeah, his he didn't have a great goals against or anything, but he only allowed two goals in regulation. It's not his fault. We couldn't score in Hellebuck. Plain and simple. If you only allow two goals in regulation, odds are you should, at, with, with the team we are, with the way we average goals, we should be able to win that game. We just didn't. We got beat by a hot goalie. It happens. It happens. I'm going to chalk that up to getting beat by a hot goalie. And it's a bit frustrating to see that that defensive core is able to work so well with that goaltender. We should be able to run a wreck shop over them, but not the case in this time. So congrats to Winnipeg. You get to go off and fight for that Stanley Cup. And we go home to prepare for the draft. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave that like, and I'll see you in the next one.